Welcome to another road trip video, sort of, fuck, I don't know what we're doing, but we're in uh, Living Peninsula, Washington State, driving over to Port Angeles, Cape Flattery, Lake Quinault, uh, just basically around the whole Living Peninsula. Uh, right now, we just took the ferry, we're finally waking up, uh, and uh, we're on, what is it, State Route 104 toward Port Angeles, where we're gonna then head to Lake Crescent as the first stop, which is an amazing, very blue looking lake. Oh shit, there's an antelope. There's an antelope? Where? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Antelope's still living here. Oh. <laughs> okay. I see how it is. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna toss in some B roll of whatever we're doing right now, and then uh, we'll be back later. Bye. Port Angeles, uh, and we're at the little like spit off of Port Angeles, whatever it's called. Um, it might be a little windy, I'm not even sure. It's not slip here, I'm holding my camera. But, I don't know, we're gonna keep driving. Right now we're just skipping rocks on the ocean, which doesn't even work, so it's not flat enough. Got to Lake Crescent. Oh, I just got sunglasses, and uh, they're not even mine. <laughs> uh, we're walking over to the this little cliff jumping spot that I usually jump in the summer, but currently there is snow, like about 400 feet higher than us right now, and it's probably really cold. I uh, mean, it's kind of cold down here, but we're just doing this little trail right now, heading up. I forgot the name of it. Dude, that's the name. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll check back in when we get there and I'll show you guys the spot. Like the rock. We're almost at this little cliff jumping spot. But we decided to climb on top of this tunnel because it just looks cool from up here. It's a pretty nice view behind us. Uh, well, I'm getting so many good pictures. Uh, if you want to see them, check out the Instagram because it's probably where they're going to be. But yeah, we'll be right back. Oh, just got some beat roll, this spot, and some photos. And now we're going to head back because we still have a bunch of places to uh, go. Uh, what? We still have a bunch of places to visit, like uh, Cape Flattery, uh, some of the beaches on the fleet west coast of Washington. And uh, <laughs> these guys are tripping here because they're trying to clown on my videos. But yeah, apparently uh, we just found out the time change, so uh, no wonder we got zero sleep and uh, now we have more daylight. Now they're running away from me. Uh, well, let's see where we end up next. Finally got to Cape Flattery, and uh, we're on the trail to uh, the most northwestern point of the United States, I guess. Um, it's actually sun's already starting to go down. We honestly should have left even earlier, but what are you guys talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's an Instagram account that hit me up, like one of those bots. Oh, oh my God. God. And I said that I, uh, I would put my cast ball sack just when I could fly. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? Oh, wait, no, no, that's special. Uh, so, yeah, more B-roll of uh, Cape Flattery. Uh, 
probably gonna actually try hardest on this one compared to like the rest because the rest has just been rushed because we're gonna we're trying to get here but uh, let's see what I can get and uh, we'll be back soon we made it we're at Cape Flattery or at least like one section of it there's another trail that goes further that way that we're gonna walk in a bit but uh We're getting text messages that we're in Canada. Uh, probably because we're so close to Vancouver Island, but it's amazing. It's really amazing. Oh, dude, we should go to the Ape Cave sometime soon. We could do that today. Oh, wait, wait, that's nowhere near here. Yeah, that's in Mount St. Helens. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Let's keep going. Down. Yeah, I know. There's probably another trail. Or the other trail. I don't know where it takes us. No, never. Oh, I know. We're definitely going to go. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's very wet. We literally just came down here, and there's a big cave. Well, I don't know what's going on down there. But this is pretty sick. Look at that. Look at this view. It's literally amazing. The tree of life. This is pretty sick. Where's the river? There's like a river flowing under me right now. But this is amazing. I got so much, so many pictures and video. Oh gosh. Uh, I don't know. This place is amazing. I'm so glad we did this trip. Let's see if I can climb up here. But this place, look at this. And it's just coming from like right underneath the tree.
my hand's shaking because it's cold, but this is basically kind of the end of today. We're going to stop by Lake Quinault because it's on the way, but it's going to be so dark that I doubt I could show anything. Um, I'm using a crop sensor camera, so light is kind of an issue. I might try to get some long exposure pictures, which are going to be on the Instagram, but for video, I'm not sure. Maybe iPhone. I'm going to definitely film on my iPhone. But yeah, we're, we're shivering. This guy's from Texas. He's cold. <laughs> it is cold. But uh, yeah, it's definitely everything was perfectly timed today. Dude, this is what this is about. Yeah. It's just doing stuff like this. I don't know. You just get this at the end of the day. You just have this feeling inside of you. You know what I mean? I mean, like, it's yeah. like, you just it's, have this feeling where you're just happy. Like, really, really happy. It's calming. It's relaxing. It's just amazing. It's like, all had we all had free time today. So it was an amazing day. It's supposed to rain all next week. It's been raining all week except for like Friday. It even rained today. Yeah, it even started. It was raining on the way here. Uh, but I mean, actually, it was snowing this morning in my neighborhood when we left. Uh, but it just slowly got sunnier and sunnier. And then now it's just an amazing sunset. I mean, I'll show you all the B roll in the video. But it's pretty amazing. I feel like I didn't even film as much as I wanted to because I'm just out here enjoying this. It's hard to film just enjoying the it's like... I know, I just, I want to get better at like filming as much as I can while enjoying it because... Yeah, there's definitely like a perfect middle ground where you're like while you're at the same time as you're filming it. Yeah. Just there's not much, there's not enough daylight, especially right now since it's still like March. It's like early March. It's still basically winter. I mean, I'm wearing this coat. I'm freezing. I mean, daylight savings honestly close. It's yeah. Like 30, like the sun's gone. yeah. Daylight savings switched over today, so that's why we got a little bit extra time. But normally it's like sunset 6:30. Today it was 7:15, so it was like 6:15 normally. Um, it's like not until you know summertime when there's way more daylight, way more time to do stuff. But right now it's like we're in a rush. It's like. Saw Kate Flattery filmed, enjoyed the hike. We took everything slow, but we got here just in time for the sunset. Oh gosh, I'm so cold and my hand's going numb. We got here just in time for the sunset <coughs> and uh, it turned out amazing. And now it's just gonna be a nice drive home. Stop by Lake Quinault since it's literally off the road, off the highway. Uh, which is like the heart of the rainforest, where the start of the rainforest is, like the, the hikes for the rainforest. But yeah, I can wait till summer when we're hiking like desert in eastern deserts in eastern Washington. Can't wait. I gotta put this phone down because my hand is shaking really bad.